Hello everyone, this is Shinobi, once again with another Awaken Chaos Era video. Today we are going to talk about the Hero Masteries. So, during their latest patch, they have introduced, Ace has introduced the Hero Masteries. So as you can see, it has been divided into three separate categories, Physic, Gear and Ability. You can see that uh, the legendary champions have got like 15 books to do in order to finish off the whole masteries and each time you add the book it is randomly added to activate a mastery so ace has you know like when i looked at heard about masteries i was thinking of just like raid so when i used to play raid um, they have the attack support and defense masteries with multiple options within the same mastery so i thought like we will have to think about what kind of masteries we'll have to select and then based on that we'll be building our champions or heroes um, where we are using it like for arena we might be using a different kind of mastery for uh, pve a different kind of mastery for guild boss a different kind of mastery but unfortunately uh, ace has not followed the same uh, stuff I, I would say I wouldn't say it's unfortunate but it's like it's okay that's the way that they want to make their hero masteries and I'm okay with that I'm like okay that's fine but the issue with it is that it is a cookie cutter kind of mastery so Ace thinks that such champions have to be used in such and such planes and therefore they have built uh, a mastery for them based on what they think is the right mastery for them but in any case i'm okay with it as long as our heroes stats are increasing our heroes are able to deal more damage clear more content it's good it's okay it's not a problem so you can see one type of mastery over here and for for my nero they have given the physics mastery with plus 15 speed plus 20 health uh, plus 20 percent defense uh, and the rest two are like similar for all nuker kind of champions so every nuker hero has got similar kind of uh, build except you know like they have got a difference in either speed or crit damage uh, at the top and so if you look at uh, Sierra or let's go to Sierra so her physic has got 20% crit damage and 20% health so it's a slightly different for different kind of champions but basically you can say that they are divided into three categories one would be three or four categories one would be nuker the other would be like uh, just like Sierra the other would be like Nero uh, which is kind of more kind of a bruiser champion Nero and Garrel have got similar kind of stats uh, and then you have the healer support champions like Mithesia, Blackhorn they have got a different kind of a uh, mastery and then you have champions like Garrel or sorry other support champions like you know debuffers or buffers who have got a different kind of a mastery but they have actually pre-established uh, what kind of a build would be good for a specific hero and that's what they have given i'm happy with that uh, i'm happy that ace is giving us more uh, options to strengthen our heroes but the next question that arises is how do we strengthen them how do we build this up so you need the books okay so you need a specific kind of book to build these masteries the issue is where do we get them from so they are currently only available from event so we have got this gear enhancement event which is giving us like what one elite book and one epic book so if this is the trend that is going to happen I'm not saying this is the trend that Ace is going to follow. Maybe they'll be giving us more books in future. Um, but if this is the uh, kind of books that we are going to get, like only one epic or one Elite book per event, then it's going to take a long, long time to finish off the masteries. You can see that Sierra or any other legendary champions, they require 15 books and that to legendary ones. We have not yet received any legendary ones. They need special events in which they will be giving legendary books and that's when we'll get one or two books. And if we, have, if we are only getting one or two books, or when are we going to finish one single champion? Um, so that's not what it should be. So 
I don't know, maybe they'll be introducing some dungeons where, you know, like you can farm pages of the book or maybe uh, farm lower level books like Elites and fuse them together to make epics and fuse the epics to make legendary. Uh, however, it may be, it doesn't matter if they are doing it uh, by making us farm the events or making us uh, farm some dungeon the frequency at which we are going to get these books and the uh, availability of the books how easily we can get is get these books are very important if it's going to take us ages to get these books then the masteries are going to be like uh, pretty much worthless because we will not be able to build all our uh, heroes with complete masteries we will only be able to build a few heroes and that wouldn't be like counterproductive why would we want to build any other champions ace would be looking seeing that the people are not building certain champions or certain heroes because the other heroes who already have their masteries completed ha are actually doing some uh, certain act areas they are able to finish off certain areas and they are also being used in arena and the other people or the enemies or their other uh, defense those are whoever whichever champion or hero is placed in the defense do not have any masteries on them and so it's become uh, it becomes very easy for us to do it and also it is it, it is going to be tough for free to play players to get those and if they are not able to get it then there's no competition for whales so that's not how it should be so basically everybody including the epics and the uh, elite ones require 15 books so you have to farm these 15 books and i hope ace gives us more opportunity or more areas to get these books um, yeah so the masteries are fine it is pretty easy you don't have to think about what kind of a build i have to do it's already ready made so all you have to do is to go in and you know finish up uh, finish these masteries off give every one of your hero the books and get his masters filled up and then it is ready the yeah obviously it is not flexible you can't change what kind of mastery you want to have on your on your hero you can't decide what additional stuff you can do it's already there and that's what you're getting so it is just like any other skill or any other uh ability that that is already there with the hero that you are getting in additional sorry you are getting in addition so these masteries are physic as i said was uh, divided into physic so the physic has got certain specific ones so usually it is either focus or crit damage or speed at the top then you have got health or defense at the second level and the third level and then the the rest four are the same for every single champion so uh, it's focus the difference is with the top one the focus or speed or uh, crit damage the, um, for support champions uh, the speed to the speed is counted for attack for nuka champion the speed is calculated for hp so for nuka champions you get 500 percent speed which is converted into uh, HP. So if you've got 100 speed, it is uh, multiplied by 500 times. So it's five times that uh, 500 health is added to the uh, Nuka champion. Whereas for support champion, they get 100 attack added to them based upon their speed. Sorry, 100% of the speed is added to them, them as attack. Yeah, so that's the physic part of it. And the ability part, yeah, it just enhances their skills so you have as soon as you get these uh, abilities then you your skill gets upgraded by that um, yeah so it's also a pretty good thing you get one additional stat boost on your skills whatever skills the champion has gets one stat boot boost and then there is the um, gear enhancement that that you're getting with these masteries so you Basically, you are getting 15% increase in main stat of the gear, random stat up, 10% increase in main stat for gear. Oh, okay, so yeah, so that's the random stuff is not good. <laughs> I'd prefer to have 5% fixed stat to it rather than random, but anyways, whatever we can get is good. And then fixed stat up for 
30% increase in main stat and again random stat. So you basically get 45% increase in the main stat of the gear and um, you also get 20% increase in the main stat of gear for feet, neck and hands. Okay, so weapon, head and chest. So the top three will be getting 45%. So their main stat is what? For weapon it is always attack, for health it is always health, sorry for he uh, helmet it is always health, for chest it is always defense. So you get 45% increase on it. That's good. And for the others it depends upon what you are building them. So that's where the difference come in. That's where the difference come in. Otherwise it is very rigid. Okay. So let's look at one of the nuker champions and see how uh, the mastery will affect the gear. Mm, it does the same thing. Yep, so 45% on the main stats in weapon, helmet and chest and 30% of the main stat in feet, neck and hands. Yeah, so that's all in Masteries. It's a pretty short video. I'm not going to take up a lot of time. There is nothing much to discuss over here. Masteries are in Ace is the simplest thing that I can think of. The only problem is it's the most difficult thing to get. Right? Yeah, so if you're if they are giving us good places where we can farm it easily, even if we have to, like, you know, be pay to win, uh, if we are getting it faster more frequently much more easily yeah that's that'll be great otherwise masteries are no-brainers just add books to whichever hero you want to use there's nothing you have to work there's nothing no strategies you have to build there is nothing to think about it's already built in by ace they have already thought it for us just spend your money and get those masteries that's it from me you guys enjoy your day. Peace, love and blessings from me. Have a great time. Bye.